Welcome to Monthly Market Analysis. With Abby Shepard, we got you here on the road and we are taking you through some beautiful Atlanta neighborhoods today, going to sell some homes. Wanted to talk to you about tax changes though, and we've got a lot of call-ins, a lot of questions about how these tax changes are gonna impact your value of your home. So there are three major changes that are gonna impact you as the homeowner. There's the mortgage interest deduction change, the property tax change, and the loss of deduction for a line of credit. All in all, I'm not thinking it's gonna have a huge impact on your value, um, on buying trends moving forward, but there's no doubt some of these new changes really are stink for the individual taxpayer. There's still an advantage to buying property. You know, to say that that's going to change a buyer from a homeowner to a renter just is, is not valid. I have people all the time that they sell their home and then they rent for a year and they call me right back and they go, oh my gosh, I got to get in a house. You should see what I pay to my taxes. I have no mortgage interest right off. All right. So here, back in the office. You know, it's a new year, new tax changes, and we wanna make sure we're getting off on the right foot here. So we talked about three things in the car that are changing for the homeowner. The mortgage interest deduction, the property tax deduction, and the change to the line of credit. Okay, mortgage interest deduction. Used to be for a million, now it's capped at $750,000 loan amount, married, felon, jointly. If you are single, it's up to $375,000 of loan amount that's mortgage interest deductible. So there could be some significant cost difference, um, but not enough to stifle the market by any means. And remember I said in the car, $750,000 interest deduction is still significant. Let's say you're paying 4,000 a month and 3,000 of that is, is mortgage interest, all right? Times 12 months, that's $36,000 deduction off your taxes. So it's still a significant portion that you can deduct if you're a homeowner. And how about the changes in home equity deduction? Now there are none. So property taxes. Now this could be huge if you own a lot of real estate. Previously, no limits on the amount that you can deduct. Now it's a $10,000 deduction starting in 2018 for your total of property taxes, state tax, and sales tax. You can only deduct up to $10,000. You know, there really are a lot of changes in the new tax code, everything from child care credit to depreciations on a car. So it's really worth taking a look at. It's quite some interesting changes that will be impacting a lot of people. But if you have any questions on how your real estate is impacted, please give me a call. I can help out. Abby Shepard, 404-275-5561.